Welcome back, everyone, to episode 54 of Seven Days to Die Punching Plants. It's good to be back here. So the purpose of this playthrough here is to literally punch these plants and grow some stuff and make ourselves some stuff in the fire pit and other places where you can make things with plants. Also in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is getting some more electric wire relays together here and getting the basics of the rest of our blade traps here wired up and ready to go so when we have enough motors, we can actually get the blade traps running. Now, I don't think we have enough time to get that done before Horde and I get them all running, but we're going to head out today uh, on the next day cycle here and go and do some looting in the winter city. If we take a look at my map here, uh, now I'm going to forget to build those, of course, but if we take a map here, we have a decent sized city up here, which we haven't fully looted, so we can go grab some cars from up there, uh, scrap them down, hopefully get ourselves some engines and come back. So I got to make sure that my gear is nice and weather resistant so we don't get cold while we're up there. So I have to take a look at making some mods on the overnight. I have some wiring to do. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this playthrough and this is your first time, definitely check the top pinned comment for the playlist and, uh, Get yourself nice and caught up, but this is the side where we have the blade traps and the electrical uh, wire fence running. Holy crap, that's a lot of words. Uh, this side is also fully running, but there's two sides where we just have stacked up traps. They just run around, and we also have to upgrade these sides to steel too, because those dem uh, demo zombies, they can do some dang damage. So, I'm going to go ahead and start putting out all of our electric wire relays here along the wall so we can get the blade traps wired up. I just have to take a look at the other side here and see what the spacing was. But in the meantime, I got some more of these to make. So just to note, the perfect spacing for these were um, on the ninth block. So on the ninth block, completely going down, creates a nice uh, circuit. And I also put them down at the bottom here because when the z demo zombies go do go off, they don't seem to do any damage further down here. Now, we could be wrong. I've only ever had one go off, so um, I guess we'll find out in the future. But we also need another generator in here. We're missing one. I might have to make a few more of these here, too. But I'm going to try to get as much placed for the blade traps that I can. I forgot my damn tool again. Okay, I think we have everything fueled up, pre-wired, and good to go. So those ones are running that side. These ones are running this side right here, so I put a generator in, attached it to its own switch right here. We're actually going to get rid of our control room. I think it's just better to have the switches down here because, I mean, if this gets blown up, really, there's no purpose. Because I have to come up here for these ones anyway. But, that's for another episode, getting that one fixed up. <laughs> uh, so this generator here, let's finish fueling that up is running the blades down this way and then that generator there will be running the blades down this way um, now if i have to balance it out to make it efficient with the amount of motors i'll like take this one here and then wire it over to here and then go one extra if i need to or whatever uh, you guys know what i mean like if we only need three in this one and five in that one to kind of balance it out instead of having overpowered then that's what we'll do. So, we're good to go there. That's all wired up, and it's not even nighttime, so I got a little bit of work to do around the base here. Um, a little, a few odds and ends. I'm gonna get my stuff organized. I just got a great idea of what we can do on the overnight here, and I've been dying to do this for a while. Uh, we're gonna take some of this bulletproof glass I've been making. This thing has been filling forever. It's so tough getting these going because for the bulletproof glass, take a look at that you need one two three four five different resources and you only have two slots now it uses a lot of sand and a lot of lead and um, a decent amount of iron so um, sand is probably the most thing we're gonna be pumping in here then lead and then a little bit of iron so we're gonna have to kind of balance it out as we make these but we need tons and tons of this for my long-term goal of building a skyscraper if you guys haven't checked that out uh, look at my skyscraper concept video to go skippy 0330 uh, skyscraper concept or whatever uh, I'll probably forget to pin it, but uh, Check it out. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I've changed it a little bit since too. So 
Um, I'll probably show it again before I actually start building it. Anywho, uh, what I need to do here then... We'll go up here. What I want to do is start taking out these um, old traps on the inside. And then I'm going to line the outside of this with bulletproof glass. And conveniently, because we had a tree grow up through here, uh, it took out this block. So, I can drop down in here. Uh, I'm going to use my chainsaw for this. So, this will be loud. I'm not going to... You know what? This will make for a fun, a fun little time lapse. Let's do it. So as you can see, I got a lot of that glass plays down, and whew, this stuff is expensive, but oh my god, is it ever worth it. So what I did in the corners here is I just put an angle block in. You guys probably seen that unless you skip the time lapse if you're not into it. 
And I put the glass along the outside here, so we're looking pretty damn good, but I'm a little bit short. Wasn't able to finish up the whole thing. That's okay. Um, we'll come back later and patch it up a little bit here before Horde Knight hits, uh, because now there's no obstacles in here. And, whoops, maybe if I choose the right block, that might actually help. Uh, so now it's actually almost four in the morning. I've just been kind of going hard at that and completely forgetting about everything else. So I'm going to take a look here at my equipment and see if I don't have some more room here to put some more uh, weather related mods on them. So I'm looking through here and there is a lot of mods that I actually cannot make. Look at all the lock stuff here, like even the insulated liner mod. I thought we had that one unlocked, but um, apparently not. Wow, they're all almost pretty much locked. Oh, we got we got a good decent amount here. Uh, but I also looked at my mods and we pretty much have everything equipped that we can for warmth um, as far as mods go. But I have to switch out some of my clothing, I do believe. Yes, because this has barely any heat resist, so I'm going to put on a sweater. That'd be much of a better choice. Alright, so I threw on a nice puffer coat here that has a good uh, cold heat resist. And I also threw on a flannel shirt, because that's how I roll. And we're also standing by a side of warming fire, but that has no effect in the, the biome. Anyway, uh, we got a little bit of flight here, so I'm going to hop in my gyrocopter, and we are going to head off. I'm going to grab a few more repair kits. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Stack of 20. Awesome. Let's uh, let's blow this popsicle stand. I even remembered my wrench. Oh, wow. Every once in a while, the, the sunrise in this game just absolutely blows my mind. I love it. Woo! I flew into a snowstorm and I wasn't paying attention and I got all disoriented up in the clouds. That was really weird. But hey, check this out. Look where I crash landed without hurting myself. Looks like big old lumberjack here wants to be the first victim of good old AK. Oh, and there's a bath store up there? A bathhouse? And the girls? Holy crap, I know where I'm going on vacation. Bang. <laughs> oh, this AK-47 is the shit. Anyway, let's go in here and check this place out. Oh, look, there's a couple cars here. I wanted to go to this place. I know there's going to be booby traps all over the place, too. It's just... It's a name, right? It's a name. It just kind of... Kind of just gives it away. Hey. Sit down. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're good now. Uh, I'm going to scrap down these cars. This one here won't give me an engine because it's not the right stage, but... May as well get the parts, right? Whoa, wow. Look at all the company we got. Oh, crap. You're not so happy. Oh, and there's an angry Florida man. And then there's a cold Joe. Cold Joel. Not Joe. Holy crap. Okay, okay, so we got to keep our eye out for booby traps. Seriously, explosives in this da game are dangerous. Uh, it's been a while since I've been in here, and it looks like they've actually updated it a little bit. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but... It does look a little bit updated. I remember using this, actually, as a POI on our one server. Uh, because meat was a problem at one point, and uh, we couldn't mod it out. Oh, we cannot open this? Seriously? How much does it take to get through one of these? Because I want those bodies in behind there. I mean, they don't... It's not a lot of flesh, but flesh is flesh, right? I could go through the front with my chainsaw. Whoa, holy crap, look at that. Right there. Oh, wait. I I don't have to care about mines. I got the book. They don't matter. But the reason I should take them out, though, is also because zombies can walk on top of them. And if we've ever seen Jeff play this game, we know that zombies can blow you up along with a vine. And... Done. Yeah, there we go. Easy bones, easy flesh, easy go. Uh, and there also appears to be a purse up here. Not very, <laughs> nothing in it. Oh, no wonder it was left there. Okay, so let's go finish checking this place out. I'm being all cautious about mines. I really don't have to worry about. Uh, like I said, unless there's a bunch of spawns running around, then we got some trouble. Uh, what do we got in here? 
Oh, they did fix this up a little bit. Oh, that's cool. Are those purple lights in behind there? Oh, we need purple and red. Oh, and a disco light? Like a... a bl oh, we got to be able to build those as players. Come on, fun pimps. I mean, I'll try to figure out how to mod that, guys, if I can, with just XML. Uh, because that's something we need to make. If we can have a party room in our place, and our, we all need a party room in the apocalypse, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? I hope so, I hope some bust out on the stage. This better be this this better be a feature. Come on, ladies. Seriously, of all the places you get sleepers, none are gonna bust out of there. It's actually rather disappointing. Let's tr let's try the other side of perverts row here. Nothing. Damn. Look at all the flesh in here, though. Pun intended. Oh, it looks like I may have woke up a few zombies. Oh, it's definitely not a stripper zombie. That's a stripper's boyfriend. Holy crap. And he's not happy. Oh, sick. Zombie loot. We seem to be getting lucky. We already have one, but that's still pretty damn awesome. I'll take it. So I found some level um, four steel boots in that locker. So people keep their steel boots in the back in the change room of the strip club here. Oh, he was back here. That's what he was doing. And it looks like we got a, ourselves a couple secrets here too. Medical pile. That's always good to have in the wall. And over here, your backpack. Damn it. We got button hooked. But there is some stuff out here. There's a bunch of flesh. We could take that out. Shamway box, and hey, look at that. There's a locked chest down here. Okay, I'm gonna bust this open and grab the flesh, and we'll see what goodies this has for us. So apparently that rotten flesh right there was holding up that wall. Wow, that was weird. I was not expecting that to happen. Oh, look, another scope mod. <laughs> I've never even used them. But we have plenty of them. Okay, so let's check out what this crappy Shamway box has for us. A little bit of food. I will take that. And our reinforced chest. Uh, well, we have marksman rifle parts. That's good. Some ammo. And this will actually sell really well. So it's at 337. Let's repair that. And see how much more it sells for repair. It's 763. That's nice. Okay, let's, uh, I guess, go this way. All right, and we're in the kitchen, and it looks like the construction worker was confused as to where his job was. You're not supposed to be in the kitchen, buddy. All right, who's up in here? Oh, we got an office with a ladder. Oh, cool. Okay, well, let's check this out here. We got ourselves a backpack with a level 6 blunderbuss. Holy crap, talk about OP endgame stuff. And uh, some other crappy crap. Okay, we don't need none of that. We'll check this desk. Pick up that office chair, apparently. Uh, in this cabinet. And let's check out what's going on up here with our shotgun out. I, it kind of makes me sad that they nerfed the uh, the chainsaw as far as damage it does to the zombies. It used to be fun. You go and chainsaw everything. Okay. Oh. Hello. He's not happy. Whew. Look at that. This guy here. Showing up for baseball practice. Whoa, I didn't even see you back there. She was a victim. It's you that caused this. Okay, anyway, uh, there's got to be something good up here. I mean, there's a few cops and stuff sticking around, so... You know cops only hide in sealed off rooms when shit goes down. <laughs> okay, so I guess there is nothing up here. Ooh, there's a couple of these. We can scrap these down. These scrap down pretty well. Oh, oh that's not an actual air conditioner. Damn it. Uh, but these actually, even those things scrap down pretty damn well, too. Cool. I'm going to make sure there's no more of those kicking around because those give plenty parts. But yeah, there's like nothing up here. Ah, uh, here's a full low conditioner. So yeah, let's blow this place. Although, when I do get home, remind me to go on Yelp and give this place a 10 out of 10. I would come here again. And on the search for cars we go, we got the bathhouse up here. I wonder if there's any cars down this way. I might have already tried to pick them off, but look at this place. This place is actually kind of cool. 
We can't not stop here. I mean, <laughs> check this out. Sexy. And about at home? Looking for a bath. Mm-hmm. I like to bathe in public. Oh. Holy crap, they're all in here. <laughs> what were you guys doing? No, you know what? Never mind. I don't even care. It's the apocalypse. Did you get them? I got them all. The water spawned in really weird, though. That's unfortunate because I think the effect is that they're hiding in the water. And then they uh, they come up to the surface. Um, you know what? I'm doing really good on brass, so I'm not even going to bother with those radiators. Oh. Look at this guy wrecking the place. Use the front door, dumbass. Well, in this uh, safe I found here, we got some shotgun shells and a machete. Uh, it's not really great finds, but this is kind of a cool little place. There has to be a way up into that thing upstairs. There's got to be up on the roof. We gotta check this out, but this is a cool little POI. I really like this. Hey, what are these textures right here? Check out these ones. I don't remember ever seeing those anywhere else before. Those are really cool textures. Hmm. Can we not paint those? Ha! Ah, I like it. Doesn't look like there's a way up onto that thing on the roof, like just by naturally getting up there. So we're gonna do the good old cheaty nerd poly thing. And hello, bird. Missed. What's up? Come here. Come at me. I actually want your... Never mind. I'll forget about you. Oh, there's a sports bag up here, so I mean there is stuff. Uh, doesn't look like you can easily... Whoa, what? I'm not in water? I'm in water. I'm not in water? I'm in water. Alrighty. Well, let's uh, flex and uh, bust into this whoa thing and see what's going on here. Looks like it's just water. And we have unleashed water on the town. Yeah. It would have been cool if they hid something in there. Anyway, let's head off on the search for cars. We're going to get uh, a little further into town there. There's skyscrapers and stuff going on and big factories. So there's tons of vehicles. It's just these two places here have been on the back of my mind for a while. So these places here always have a few cars at them, or around them, or near them. So let's uh, get our butts down and get dropped off here. Here we go. Bang! <laughs> Whoops. You guys did not see those smooth driving skills. Oh, fresh meat. Look at that. And I got my hunting AK with me. Bang. Whoops. No, this is my... Whoa, holy crap. That thing actually took a couple bullets. I forgot how damn tough these things are. Uh, well, fine. You're going to be temperamental like that. There we go. You know what? They should make a miss, uh, a miss lumberjack. I think that would be nice. Maybe that's why he's so crumpy. Well, here we finally actually have a full sedan. So let's cross our fingers and hopefully get an engine off this thing. Oh, we got a battery. That's not what I'm looking for. We got tons of those. They should balance that out a little more. Damn it. No engine. This place here. This place here always has tons of cars in it. Looks like, oh wow, it looks like that one actually exploded. There might have been one back here. But it looks like zombies might have uh, taken out their rage on it. Um, oh, Skippy, get out of here. Oh look, now you have a bird on you. See, that's what you'd get for being a bad driver. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking, not paying attention, driving a gyrocopter into a building. But let's go grab these cars up here that would be in front of the this place. God damn it. Yay, look at that. We finally got an engine. Holy crap. So out of those three cars, one engine. Actually, that's not too bad. I guess I really can't complain about that. What do we got going on over here? What are you fighting, my good sir? Are you fighting meat? Oh, is that a coyote? Oh, it is too! Screenshot, motherfucker. Oh, crap. Oh, it's gonna be mad at us now. Still making noise. I wonder if it's bleeding. Is it bleeding? Whoa, this is my first uh, encounter with a coyote. 
or uh, not a coyote. What do you call this? Not a coyote. What am I thinking? Mountain lion. There we go. Now it's a very dead mountain lion. A coyote. Holy crap. You think I haven't left the mountains. Um, anyway, look at this. That's pretty cool. I've never seen one before. I'm going to turn it into food. Uh, there's a good amount of cars here. There's one, two, three, four, and two of them are actually full cars. So we might have a chance here at getting another motor. Fingers crossed. We need a ton of these stupid things. I don't want to spend like a week doing this. You know what I mean? Uh, that can get a little repetitive, to be honest. Oh, look at that. We got another engine. Sweet. Fingers crossed. Definitely did do the job. So we got two engines so far. Not so bad. Holy crap, and it's already 1403. <laughs> Time flies. Okay, let's go find another batch of cars here. Here we go. The junkyard always has a few, and it uh, looks like there's a military camp over there. We could break down the truck. Those always give decent rewards. Holy crap, looks like I... Uh Woke up the neighborhood. Ooh, in the balls. That's a finishing move on that guy. Uh, looks like I woke up in the neighborhood. Do we have... Oh, look at this. We have one, two cars here that could possibly get three cars that can possibly give us a motor. Actually, yeah, no, this is the last stage here, so that one won't. But if you can search the car, it is possible it may give you a motor. Let's go ahead, do some killing and some scrapping. Oh, they busted out, and they come a-running right to the death. Wow, this shotgun is proven to be highly effective this episode. Uh, but hip-firing, though, is not. Oh, sweet, another motor. There it is down the pile. I don't know if you guys caught it, but that is actually number three. It looks like the winter biome uh, is going to be good to us. You know what? This lumberjack doesn't look like he's used to playing baseball. He'd be good at it. I mean, he's a lumberjack, but he didn't see that swing coming. Whoa, what's up? And I did not see you coming either there, cowboy. There you go. You're better off in the dirt anyway. All right, I guess we're going to be off to a different destination. Oh, yes, the military camp. Oh, and there's another uh, junkyard right beside it. Perfect. I couldn't ask for better, actually. I do believe this one has... Oh, is this a different one I've never been to before? It is! I haven't... I don't think I've ever been to this one. This one's brand new. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> I just heard something explode. I'm gonna get into here real quick. Uh, let's see, there's... Oh yeah, there's cars in here like crazy. Uh, and I'm gonna get these cars scrapped down. Looks like we have more baseball fans. Oh, there, Cray or Floridaman's wife. Looks like she found the local uh, nuclear power plant before she died. What the hell? Where are you guys all coming from? Are you coming from the military camp? Well, that's not fair. Well, now that I'm on the stamina, you're getting the shotgun treatment. Damn it. Penetrate! <laughs> God damn, those freaking soldiers can be tough. Well, it looks like I cleared out the military camp before I even went over there, so that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and start scrapping down these bad boys, see if we can't get a motor or two. Well, no motors so far, but we've gotten actually a decent amount of stuff, so I'm not gonna complain. Uh, a lot of flesh. I want to build the um, vertical farm here sooner than later, because we're actually gonna be getting pretty damn close to being able to build our skyscraper. Once we get our factory up and running and our horde base is dependable, it's reliable every horde night with minimal repairs, uh, we're gonna start moving on to those projects and then on to the skyscraper once we got that all done. Um, I'm really excited for that project. Well, didn't get a single engine all that entire place, which uh, kind of sucks, but hey, like I always say, it is what it is, kind of just deal with it and move on. Uh, I'm going to scrap down a few more useful things in here, make sure there's no flesh laying around, and we are going to head out to that military camp. 
All right, so we got everything stashed up in the helicopter here. I keep coming to Philly. We got our three engines. Um, not the greatest, but uh, the, to me, the engine grind is not fun at all. Oh, look at all these uh, these bodies just kind of sitting around. That's actually that's a nice little touch. All the bodies sitting around the landmines. I'm gonna grab these up here before. Uh, actually, this might spawn in some zombies, so this could actually prove useful. Here we go, flesh and zombies. No complaining. Holy crap! Oh wow, they're spawning right beside me, literally. Oh, see, they still they still gotta they they gotta fix these guys at least uh, a a little bit so they don't do that, right? That's I find that so immersion immersion breaking. How did not one of you hit a landmine? Not a single one. You guys are way too smart for your own good. Holy crap, they're just coming flying out of there. <laughs> I'm not giving up at all. Well, it looks like I'll be able to take care of the rest of them pretty easily, though. Got any surprises from behind? Always check. Always check behind you. Seriously? Not a single landmine, guys? Well, I guess there's not too many on this side. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to take these guys out with a gun just so they don't set off a landmine while I'm collecting all that flesh I'm trying to get at. All right, I think I got all the bodies, and look at that, 27 rotting flesh. That's almost three farm plots just off of the bodies sitting around the outside. Uh, so now, this is cool. I, I This does not ring a bell at all, so this is brand, brand new to me. This is a nice surprise. Oh, hey, we got a generator over here. Just some junk. Okay, cool. Uh, any of these places have anything good? Oh, look at this. Look at this. I see what's going on over there. I see what's up, pup. I'm gonna turn you into farm. Is there any more zombies kicking around? Oh, there's even oh, there's there's carriages in here. Okay, I see cages. I mean, nice, nice touch. These are uh, supposed to be police dogs. Oh, a couple steel armor parts. Not gonna complain about finding those. Uh, oh, and a book we've already read. <laughs> uh, we're still missing a bunch of books. We don't even have a complete set yet, to be honest. I really wish, really, really wish I could find a... Is this the best way to do this? Yes. I really, really wish I could find a crack of book. That would be awesome. Or even a skyscraper. That would be even better. Okay, well, I searched these tents. They're actually pretty basic, but there's a light right here. Does that mean there's a secret somewhere around here? I don't think so. I think it's just an effect in a tent. Okay, well that kind of sucked. Whoa! Look at you popping up over there. What's up? You better step on a landmine. Stupid deer. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab that meat. We'll go and check out that tower. Maybe this place doesn't have anything special in it. It's just uh, another POI. Uh, that's too bad though. That's pretty cool. Oh, I wish I could steal those too right there. Apparently those things are incredibly expensive. Okay, well, the tower is our last stop here. Oh, look at all this stuff up in here. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so what have we got in our chest? We got level 6 hunting knife. Meh. Got some ammo. Ooh, actually, this is the nicest magnum we found so far. A level 4 magnum. Nice. Okay, I will take that. Uh, let's crack these bad boys open here. We got a working stiffs and a shotgun messiah. There we go. What do we got in the gun store? Ah, just some junk. Ammo? Pile? <laughs> because structural brace mod, not what I wanted, and wow, we really got uh, kind of screwed for decent loot in this place. That's okay, that's okay. We got some flesh. I'll take that. Uh, let's keep moving on. We got to find vehicles. I get distracted by new POIs all the time. By the way, guys, this morning. Whoa. I don't know if the gyrocopter blows up if you drive over one. I imagine it's the same effect, but that was very, very dangerous because um, I haven't tested it out. That's something I think I should test out on creative, not my uh, single player when I'm way far away. Uh, but we got this one here, and this one has one in here. I don't think we've ever been bogarted on one of these trucks. I think we've always got an engine out of one, so it's always definitely worth the scrap down. Uh, so I'm gonna just like fly into this place and just spawn all the zombies in. Oh, and look at all the rotten flesh up in here. Why would I say no to it? 
Okay, so I'll take this truck down and we'll get all the rotten flesh. <laughs> Alright, so let's search this thing. Sometimes this has good stuff in it, too. Um, food quite often, I find. Um, now, I'm going to more, know more of this stuff once I do modding and I'm going through the XML files. I'll be like, oh, okay, well, that's, that explains that and that explains that. Um, but just playing it through for a long period of time definitely helps before you modify it because then you know the the game pretty well, right? And what you want to be going for. Uh, so fingers crossed we can get an engine out of this, this sucker. And no engine. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's a reality. Uh, you don't always get an engine on those things. I think those things, at least, should always guarantee you an engine. See, these are things I think I'm going to change in Settler's Mod, because you'll need to make crazy bases and tons of traps. Um, so I think I can definitely make finding engines a lot easier. Oh, hey, check this out. There's another mountain lion cougar thing. I don't know what the hell it is, but anyway... There's another one out here fighting the uh, Lumberjack. These things are actually pretty badass. Uh, considering, like, look at that. It just took out a Lumberjack. No problem. Hey, yo, well, you better walk on the landmine. You better walk on the landmine. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm going to turn you into stew. All right, so it is nighttime. It is time to get out of here. But look at that. 87 rotting flesh out of this place. So not a bad deal. That's eight farm plots for our vertical farm. So not too bad of a... Um, a oops. Not too bad of spending time. Oh, look at that. Just in time for the night bell to go off. So I am going to get my ass back home here on my gyrocopter. And unfortunately, I think this is where we're going to have to say goodbye for this episode, guys. Um, I'm incredibly busy at the moment with uh, Christmas and stuff and work and everything else, but I am enjoying spending my extra free time here making these episodes for you. So if you did like this video, remember, hit the like button. Uh, we just hit 100k on, on the morning that I recorded this, so I'm absolutely jacked. Once again, guys, thank you very much. Uh, if you want to be around for more from 100k on, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Back up them game saves, stay classy, and have a good one. Peace.